realization hits me heavily. Like a 44 Magnum smashing into my skull, my heart starts beating with a quick dread and my blood freezes in my veins. My stomach does backflips. The ordeal I am about to face is, is one of the most chilling, grisly, macabre experiences known to woman. Dating. I'm going to have to start dating again. Oh, please, God, don't make me do it. I'll be good from now on, I promise. I'll stop feeding the dog hashish. I'll be kind, thoughtful, sober, industrious. Anything will work. Please, God, not the ultimate torture of dating. <laughs> That's why I stayed with him for so long, I guess. I couldn't bear the thought of going through it all again. I mean, sure, he might be a trifle wild and intractable at times, I kept telling myself, but... At least someone will go to the movies with me and not try to hold my hand. Hand-holding. The worst part about dating. It's the most nerve-wracking experience. Once I start holding hands with someone, I'm afraid to stop. If I pull my hand away, will he think that I'm being cold or distant? Should I sort of squeeze his hand and wriggle my fingers around suggestively? Or is that too forward? What if... My hand gets clammy. A clammy hand is more offensive than bad breath or, or right-wing politics. A clammy hand means that you're a bad lay. Everyone knows that. Oh. And what, dear spiteful God, will I wear?